The state television company Vatican Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. France condemned Azerbaijan and advised its citizens not to travel to that country. Iran does not intend to abandon its position regarding the Zangezur corridor. There is international law. We have more favorable conditions to implement it. The population of Armenia must return Ocampo. The Senate of Mexico contributed to the prevention of future crimes against humanity. The day of pilgrimage of to Holy Cross Church of Ahal Kalaki was memorable. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. On 14 September, the speech of the speaker Armen Isagian was held on the government of the Republic of Western Armenia. She referred to the speeches of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, and the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrihamian. Ms. President emphasized that the event related to the summer university was organized as it was expected and emphasized that many people were informed of the existence of the Republic of Western Armenia. Ms. President mentioned that Armenia representatives and representatives from France were present at the event, who highly valued the huge works that President Armenia Gabrahamian and President Lydia Margosyan carried out at the UN. President Armenia Gabrahamian informed that during the event they established contact with the representatives of Western Armenia participating in the 12th service in the Holy Cross Church of Ahtamar, who conveyed their greetings to the participants and blessed the forum. France condemns the arbitrary and openly discriminatory attitude of which our compatriot Theo Clark became a victim in Azerbaijan. This is stated in the announcement of the French Foreign Ministry. On 10 September, Theo Clark was sentenced to three years in prison by the Azerbaijani court for graffiti in the subway, and his two co-defendants who have different citizenships were sentenced only to a fine for exactly the same activity. As soon as our compatriot was arrested in April last year, the French embassy in Baku contacted the competent authorities of Azerbaijan to provide consular protection in the interest of our compatriot, in accordance with the provision of the Vienna Convention. French citizens, including those with dual citizenship, are advised not to visit Azerbaijan without compelling reason due to the risk of arbitrary detention and unfair trials in that country, whose judicial system does not provide any guarantee of independence in matters of legal protection, the statement said. Regarding the Zangezur corridor, Iran stands firm in its position and has no intention of giving in. This is stated in the statement published by the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps on social networks. It is also mentioned. As a regional power, Iran has proven its resilience over the decades, including by winning the war against Saddam Hussein's regime. Iran has clearly shown that no external force, be it political or military pressure, is able to weaken its influence. An attempt to disrupt the regional balance by by seeing Iran's interest will be met with resolute resistance and the country will continue to defend its positions in all political and strategic issues. There is international law. We have more favorable conditions to implement it. The population of Artsakh must return, said Luis Moreno Ocampo, the first chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. He called to release the Armenian hostages and stop the genocide. Ocampo emphasizes that international law is still valid and it is important to apply to correctly. He mentioned that the Armenian population has rights and a plan should be developed for their return and protection of their rights. He emphasized that Armenians are not alone and the international community is on their side. Ocampo mentioned that the Armenian people should unite and receive international support to free the hostages. He emphasizes that there are no independent judges in Baku and the trials are unfair. Referring to the role of the ICC, Campo said that Armenia has acquired a new defense system by joining the ICC and international law can be used to protect the rights of the Armenian population. Hakobar Shagyan, Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly in Armenia, met on 14 September with Quintia Lopez Castro, President of the Bureau of Women Parliamentarians of the Mexican Senate and the Interparliamentary Union. Hakobar Shagyan emphasized the deepening of cooperation between the legislative bodies of the two countries and expressed gratitude to the Mexican Senate for recognizing and condemning the genocide committed against Armenians. 
He noted that with this step, Mexico contributes to the prevention of crimes against humanity. During the meeting, the latest developments in the regulation of Armenian and Azerbaijan relations were also discussed. On 15 September, the Armenian Apostolic College Church celebrated the Feast of the Holy Cross, which became a pilgrim gate day in the Holy Cross Church of Ahalkalaki. This year, the celebration was distinguished by the fact that the relics of the Apostle Thomas were displaced in the church. The Feast of the Cross is the last of the five tabernacle feasts of the Armenian Apostolic Church and is celebrated in the memory of the return of the Lord's Cross and its setting up at Kolgoya. The viewers, as usual, we want to inform that Western Armenia Television, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. Western Armenia Television recorded one of its most important achievements by launching the Western Armenia Weekly newspaper, which is aimed at the preserving and popularizing our history, culture, and identity. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.